everybody, Gina DeLuca here. All right, I'm gonna be trying something new today. Uh, this is going to be another flower piece, but trying a new kind of flower. I'm gonna be doing like a bearded iris type flower. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Could be fun, could be a hot mess. Only one way to find out. The background color I have going on here is my new favorite uh, background color for doing these like ghost flower type things, which, you know, I'm loving because I'm using a lot of interference paints and they work best on a dark background. And it gives this very ghostly appearance from one angle. And then when you turn it, then you have all this beautiful color. Really cool stuff. Uh, so this background color is a mixture of... Liquitex Basics in Dioxazine Purple and Prussian Blue Hue. Uh, so that is going to be this background color. I, I covered the whole canvas because I'm going to be blowing this paint and if I blow down to the canvas, I don't want canvas to show. I still want that to be fully covered. I don't want any white showing through uh, later because sometimes it's hard to tell with this interference paint if when that dries, uh, if you've gone too far down close to the canvas, you might be able to see that. So this just eliminates that completely. And I love this color. It's not quite black. Black is a very absorbent, you know, it absorbs all of the light. Um, this color, this mixture of blue and purple dries almost black, but it still has, uh, it has some depth to it, which I really love. The other colors I'm working with here, I have a bunch of pigments mixed, mixed up. Uh, some of them are custom. This is a custom, I'm not sure what's in this. I think it was um, this little piggy blue eyes and something white haven maybe. Um, but the other colors I have going here are Constellation, very pretty purple, perfect for an iris, uh, Lemon Sorbet, Echeveria, and I have a bunch of Interference colors mixed here. I have, um, oh, so those were all this little piggy, the ones I just showed you, and these are the color art, uh, Bling It. This one is Interference Violet, Interference Green, Interference Gold, and Interference Blue. And I do have a wee bit of the Stuck Up Pig in, uh, in Boastful um, left from another painting. And these have all been mixed with mixed pouring medium. And uh, so I want to show you something that's happened. The, the boastful held up really well, um, you know, for sitting for a couple of days. But it, this one is the pompous. It just turned very, very watery. I added no water to that. It was mix and pigment, and that is it. So I think there's some kind of reaction with the pigments mixing with that mix, and it's it's breaking down whatever makes that mix thick. And I, I, I don't know. I'm gonna try to get to the bottom of that. Before we get started, have you seen the Fluid Art Inspiration Cards? If you have, you can fast forward about a minute, but if you have not, what we have are 52 cards. There are 42 technique cards, and each technique uh, has a video associated with it right here on YouTube that gives you all of the information that you need, the exact paint brands, color, consistency, the recipe, and of course the technique, all of the stuff that I can't fit on a card. This is the picture of the painting in that particular video. This box contains a tip for that particular technique. And at the bottom, you have the color palette that was used in that painting. And then these two boxes can be used together as the basis of a two color palette. 
And there are eight bonus color palette cards. Each one has five color palettes. Use all of the colors or just some of the colors. Mix and match the bonus color palette cards with the technique cards and you have more combinations that you could ever paint in a lifetime. These are available at my website, GinaDeLuca.net and also at Amazon.com. This stuff right here. And if you want to get yourself some of this, uh, email Krista8974 at gmail.com. Um, so what I've done is I put a bit of mix in my cup. I add the pigment. While wearing a mask, very important, please wear a mask. If the pigments get in your lungs, it's never coming out. You don't want that. It is not good for you. Uh, so wear a mask, some mixed pouring medium, add your pigment, mix it in, and then you can add some more mix. Uh, but I just put just enough to cover the bottom of the cup and get the pigments wet and stir slowly so it doesn't poof all over the place. As far as the regular paints go, I did about uh, one part paint, three part mix, and then um, added water as necessary to get it to the same consistency as the mixed pouring medium by itself, which is about a two on my consistency scale. Okay, going to lay down a base coat. So you can see, like this appears bright because it has the mix. Uh, actually, maybe not so much on the camera. <laughs> But uh, in person, this appears to be a much brighter uh, indigo, um, but it dries very, very dark. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do here, uh, now that my base coat is down, I'm gonna pop any bubble, gravel, birdie two times. Never like the first try. Give those bubbles a quick torch. So one of the things that uh, I've been doing is starting in the center and blowing out and then doing again, but I think I'm actually going to uh, do something a little bit differently this time. Um, save myself a little bit of uh, pigment and grief, perhaps. We'll see. We'll see how that works out. So I'm just going to do just kind of a circle of that base color. And I'm going to bring in this Echeveria. I'm just going to squiggle that in there. Have the interference green. I have some interference gold here. Let's put some of that in. and some of the stuck up pig, boastful. Okay, and a little bit more of the back of area. And do I want some of those other colors? Mm, yeah, why not? I'll do a bit of that in there. Like the flowers are in the background as well. Just a bit of my flower colors. This is the interference violet. Okay. My PSI is set to 35. And actually, let me just do a bit more of this base color. And that'll do it. I need this to get out to the ends.
All right, I'm gonna drizzle in a bit more of this. And kind of blow it out where I feel it's needed. I'm working, it got a little too dark on me. Give this a spin. I'm gonna give these edges a little bit of a extra love. And I'm not really looking for like full coverage here. This is supposed to be what's happening in the background behind the flower. That's a no-no. All right, looking good. Okay, so far so good. So now I'm going to try to do an iris. Pray for me. So I'm going to start with, so there's three petals. Um, I'm gonna start with an interference gold. And then I'll do some of this more prominent yellow here. I can never remember the names of all these pigments. That's a little misorted. Oops, that one's heavy. Um, maybe a little bit of this mixture of the blue eyes or something. They look like eggs. We're going to fix that. <laughs> bit of the blue eyes. Just a tiny bit. Uh, let's do touch of this constellation. I don't want a lot of dark going on in here. My background is dark, but I want a little bit of contrast. And then this interference blue. I really like relying on the interference to give me these ghosty kind of flower effects. Okay. And I think a bit more of the constellation. Kind of want the constellation and the interference to blend together. All right. Wish me luck. Ooh. trying to get these shapes right, I'm going to be coming in with more petals. So I'm trying to get my shapes as close to where I want them as possible. All right, some of this I might have to come in with my straw a little later and do a better job of this fine tuning. Okay, so the next set will be kind of skinnier and coming out this way. So, let's see. Interference gold. Just a touch of the constellation. And the interference blue. I'm going to do a touch of yellow in there, too. Okay. 
Mm. You know what? I'm going to pull out something new. Let's see. Let's see. I'll do this. I've got my little flexi tube. This is going to give me some better uh, control. Let me come in and try to tidy this stuff up a little bit here. I'm going to just come in and make these little wiggles. It's going to give it a little bit more definition, but also give it that ruffly effect. Okay, we can do the same with these. There is one more set of flowers, or one more set that should be going. One more set in there. I'm worried it's getting a little crowded. Okay, let's let's see. I'm going to do that base color and the interference blue. And just a dot of that constellation. All right, well, unfortunately, some of my petals here are losing their shape. Let's see if I can do anything about that. Like if this had some, I might regret this, but Yeah, I don't know if that helped at all. I'm just going to create some gaps that I need to fix now. I'm just dipping into some of this background color to see if I can just create some kind of a 
Here's some shape. Okay, here it is. This is still wet. This will look very different when it's dry. But this is what we're working with for now. I can definitely improve on this technique, I think, for sure. Uh, this is just take one. <laughs> not crazy about the lines that I put in there kind of regretting that oh well it is what it is but the little ruffly edges I kind of I kind of like that maybe I could improve on that maybe I need to be doing this with swipes instead of blowing I don't know we'll see I'm going to keep messing around with all these ghost flowers because they're fascinating to me. Anywho, uh, so this is the wet piece and it's going to look very different when it dries. Those interference paints will really jump off the canvas. Okay, so I will bring you back when it's dry. Okay, here it is dried. The colors are lovely. The execution, mm -hmm. could have done better. I will surely try again at some point. I need to think through my blowing, or just my technique in general. But I think the background worked out really well doing it that way. And then that way I don't have a lot of my background colors coming up through my flower. But uh this, of course, will sparkle even more once it's varnished, if it gets varnished, if everybody hates this, <laughs> I guess I won't varnish it, but uh, some pretty gradients going on there. I do love that Constellation pigment. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. Perfect for irises. But there it is. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed. Please do like, share, and subscribe if you are subscribed. Please make sure you've clicked that bell so that you receive notifications of uh, when I have new uploads or when I go live. Also, let's check out the description box below for links to uh, my PayPal tip jar, if you feel so inclined. Um, and also my affiliates and uh, coupon codes for the affiliates. So if you enter through those links, I receive a commission at no additional cost to you. When you use the coupon code, you can save some money. 
And also in the description box, you will find a link to my website, ginadeluca.net, where you can find my art, music, and fluid art inspiration cards for sale. And the last, but certainly not least, you will find the link to our Facebook group, Go Make Some Art. Join us there, post your masterpieces, ask your questions, get some inspiration. A good time is had by most. All right. That is going to be it for me for today. I hope you all have a beautiful day. Now go make some art. <laughs>